So the idea that a small subset of a tumor might be biologically distinct and possibly the driving force of a cancer has become very prevalent in the past five to ten years. And that's, a, that's an area that's really been uh, pioneered, as it were, uh, in the blood cancers and leukemia, largely by virtue of the fact that they're easier to work with and the experimental tools are better. And so uh, leukemia has really sort of led the way conceptually as a disease in which a stem cell or a small subset of cells might be relevant. And so we focus on that particular type of cancer in hopes that this will also give us leads and, and clues as how other cancers might evolve and how we can develop better therapies. So the focus of the presentation here today and, and from, from some of my colleagues uh, will be uh, to update the scientific community on uh, revelations and discoveries that we've made um, towards targeting those cancer stem cells. And it's been several years now that this concept's been prevalent and as the scientific community has, has come to understand and, and develop the idea, uh, there has been significant progress. In fact, there is a clinical trial currently ongoing at the University of Cardiff by our, our clinical collaborator, Dr. Alan Burnett, um, testing um, one of the drugs that we've developed for leukemia. And I believe there'll be several other reports at this meeting also talking about similar advances. So it is actually making its way from the bench to the bedside, as it were. Uh, the presentation that I will give is, is large, is more of an educational session. We'll be providing some background and overview of the field. Uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Monica Guzman, on Tuesday will speaking, be speaking more specifically about the latest uh, developments uh, of, of our clinical studies and, and the development of new therapies.